yo, 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 I am jamming out to my song again. <laughs> Gotta get hyped because it is a little bit later in the evening. I know that if you are not on the West Coast, you are probably in the bed and that is just fine. But I first want to apologize because I had originally said that I was going to be going live on Wednesdays and I had my Abundance Masterclass last Wednesday and it was so amazing. And I literally just forgot to go live because right after it was done, um, we actually spend time with our kids uh, doing like family Bible study. And so that's what we were doing. And then we put them to bed. And after that, I was just like, because, you know, whenever I do um, an event where I'm teaching, uh, you know, it takes a lot of energy, you know, to hold space and all of those things. And so I just want to kind of rest and vegetate after that. But anyway, I'm really excited about tonight's topic. It's worthiness. No matter when you're watching this, probably in the morning or if you're up late, hey, hey, drop a comment in the chat so I know that you're here. And if you're watching this tomorrow, hashtag replay so that I know that you were here. Okay, so we're talking about worthiness and how this is the key to unlocking your abundance. Now, what do I mean by abundance? Let's talk about first what I don't mean. A lot of people have the misunderstanding that when it comes to abundance, this just means, oh, you have a lot of money. Mm, abundance is so much deeper than that. And when you really understand this, then you understand that money is just such a small, minuscule aspect of it. Because the fact is, the things that really matter to us in life, and you can, <laughs> and people with money will tell you this, okay, that it is not going to bring you the ultimate happiness. I know it sounds cliche and all of those things. But I can tell you from my own experience, it's it's true. The things that really matter in your life are the quality of your relationships, the amount of love that you have. And yes, you need money to pay your bills and to do things that you want to do. You know, nobody wants to be struggling and all this and that. But my point is, is when I'm talking about abundance, what it does not mean is that you are spending all of your time, effort and energy focused on making money, trying to create money like it's. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually a scarcity mindset because when you're chasing something, it's because you believe it's elusive. All right. And I'm not talking about men chasing women because that, yes, that's how it's supposed to be done. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about you don't chase money. You don't chase that. I did a three-part series of videos where I was talking about the law of reciprocity. And if you really want to understand how to allow money to flow into your life, that is a law that you absolutely must begin to apply not just in your business, but in your life, period, because it is Bible principles, universal laws that are always true, just like gravity. And if you live in harmony with it, then you will benefit from it instead of working against it or kind of trying to carve out your own little thing there. So here's my point. That's not abundance. A person who's that way, they don't have an abundant mindset. They don't believe that things are going to come to them. They don't believe that they're going to always be cared for. They don't have any trust. They feel like they always have to be hyper vigilant and always. Uh. And I know this because that's a mindset that I had before I came into entrepreneurship. And even in those, you know, it's something you're constantly peeling back a new layer. You get another layer, you're like, oh, okay. And it's because of some experiences of how money was articulated for me during childhood. So when I'm talking about abundance, I mean, tapping into all of the beautiful experiences, relationships, opportunities, expansion in your business, in your life, everything, being able to you increase your capacity to receive because it already belongs to you. Okay. And you might be like, what you mean it already belongs? It already belongs to you. It was here before you were created for you, for us, for human beings. So the fact that you don't have it right now, the fact that you don't have access to it right now, the fact that everything feels like a hustle and a struggle is not because what you want is not available. It's because of what you believe about you and what you believe about what it is that you desire. And when I say what you believe about you, I am speaking about your worthiness. And I want to be clear that feeling unworthy does not look like a woman who's walking around with her head hanging low. I have low self-esteem and I just, I can't do anything. I'm a fit. No, 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 no. That is not what unworthiness looks like. When you feel unworthy, you are in a constant state of proving energy. 
you are always feeling like you have to prove yourself, that you have to perform, that you have to achieve, that you have to excel in order to receive validation, attention, support. You innately do not believe that you can be given anything just simply because you live, breathe, and exist. No, no. That doesn't, your brain goes, well, I was talking about, no, no, no. We have to do something and not in the sense of like put forth effort, but we have to do something to show that we're worthy of it, that we deserve it, that we are, um, you know, have satisfied the requirements for it. And then we get to have it. But the truth is, we don't really believe we get to have it because even when we get the thing that we wanted after stressing and striving and checking all the boxes, we don't even celebrate it. We move on to the next thing, the next thing. That's what unworthiness really looks like. Because we don't believe in our own innate worthiness is that our worthiness is based upon just the fact that we live, breathe and exist. Like I'm lovable simply because I live, breathe and exist. I'm worthy of the things that I desire simply because I live, breathe and exist. My worthiness doesn't have anything to do with what I desire. If you don't believe you're worthy of it, you're, you're like taking away the, your own value. You're, you're attaching it to the tasks that you complete, the things that you achieve, the grades that you get, the promotions that you get, your title, all of those things. You're looking at, at to those as validation that you're worth something. Now I'm okay. I know I'm okay because I, no, no, no. And what I'm telling you is you're okay without that. You're worthy of you what you desire simply because number one, it's available to you. And you live, breathe, and exist. It, it's available. You can have it. You don't have to prove anything. Do you have to put forth some effort? Absolutely. But where most of your energy has been focused is on simply action and effort. But never really truly believing that you're worthy of whatever it is you're asking for. And so what happens is you don't ask. And so you don't receive. And you can't receive because you'd rather give. And because you don't feel worthy, you don't believe anyway. So you, you don't ask, you don't know how to receive, and then you don't believe you'll get it. So do you see how that all is kind of going to work against you? If your goal is to truly to step into something new, to expand, to pivot, to grow, whatever, it's not going to work. And so unless and until you are able to own the fact that there is nothing left for you to prove, that there's nothing left for you to do, that you are an amazing woman, that you are lovable, that you are worthy simply because you live, breathe, and exist. Now, I had a very powerful virtual VIP day with a client and it was powerful because the root of her issue was unworthiness, feeling unlovable. And when we as women, as a woman, when you feel unlovable, when you feel unworthy, then you have a hard time with standards. You have a hard time with boundaries. You have a hard time with overgiving. You have a hard time with accepting deal-breaking behaviors. You make excuses for people, way too many excuses for people. And so really what ends up happening is you're unhappy. <laughs> and what you feel is that you are constantly giving and pouring into others, but you never receive it back. You never receive what you give. And so you always feel like, man, this isn't fair. I'm always coming up short in relationships or I'm always doing so much in my business, but you know, it's not really, really reflecting my bottom line. And so I really need you to take home with you tonight that when you decide to own the fact that you do not have to get another A plus, that you do not have to get another degree, 
that you do not have to get another certification, that you do not have to hit your next quarterly income goal. You do not have to do any of that to be worthy of what it is that you desire. Because the things that you are desiring, because you're in my audience and I don't have people watching me that are like wanting to do sinister bad things. The things that you desire is nothing wrong with what you're desiring. You are desiring something that's within the confines and bounds of God's moral laws and standards. And as long as you're within that, then I can support you. You can start going outside. I don't know. I can't, you know. So my point is, is you're not asking for anything that is wrong or any of that. You, you Not, it's none of that. But you won't give your permission. You won't give yourself permission to ask for it. Because you don't think sometimes that you're even allowed to ask for it. Or you feel like, well, if I receive, somebody else misses out. Or that's selfish of me. That's greedy of me. I should be grateful for what it is that I have. I should never ask for more. Let me assure you that those that is programming and conditioning from your parents. Not your heavenly father. He does not withhold anything good from any of us. And he is lacking in nothing. He, every, everything he made, including you, is abundant, is, and is abundance. It's everywhere. There's a lot of everything. But it doesn't matter how much it is. If you don't think you get to have it, if you don't think you're allowed to have it, if you don't think you're worthy of it, if you think, oh, I've got to jump through hoops, there's all these different excuses and things, stories that you tell yourself. And if you don't allow yourself to really love yourself on this level, then no, you're not going to expand your business. No, you're not going to respond to that tugging that you feel in your gut that you should be doing something different, that you may need to pivot, that you may need to make some changes. I'm going to be talking about my, I'm going to be doing a video on decision and how powerful decision is and how that really is step one. Okay. Because a, a lot of us, um, I had a woman that came to my master class. She's also my client and she was telling me in, in what she was saying is a lot of us don't have what we desire because we haven't made a decision. And that is a 1000% true. That's a part of it. And a lot of us don't have what we desire because we've never asked for it because we don't think we'll receive it because we don't think we're worthy of it. So we don't, we don't get to have it. And so, yeah, that's the key. That's the key. You have to understand and know that the self-judgment, the not forgiving yourself for past mistakes, the conditioning that you receive from your mom telling you you're not good enough or your dad making you feel abandoned because he wasn't around, all of that mental garbage that you're carrying around with you that's telling you who you're allowed to be what you're allowed to have what you're allowed to do it's all a bunch of trash mental trash and so you have to take it out <laughs> it's got to go your worthiness is on the line your abundance is calling and the line is busy because you've got mental trash in the way <laughs> okay and I want you to understand that I already know that you're successful, that you're already winning, but you and I both know that you would love it if that winning could just be a little bit easier and faster. And if you could celebrate more when you do win. And if it just didn't always have to feel like you just were on to the next thing, constantly striving and striving. Because that's that's not it's not what that's not what this is about. That's not that's not how you're going to find happiness, and it most certainly is not how you're going to find peace. So during this VIP virtual experience that I had with my client today, we uncovered this huge block, and removing that huge block allowed us to then step into creating a strategy for her launching her new business. She's revamping it. 
adding a whole new piece onto it that really speaks into the gift of who she is, not just what she was doing. It's like, no, she's stepping into her expansion. She's owning the fact that I'm not this, this over here. I, yes, this, but all of this. And so now she gets to have it because of the work that we did today. And so if that's an experience that you would like to have, then absolutely send me a DM on whatever social media platform you are watching this video on. And if you're watching the replay on YouTube, just send me a DM on Instagram and ask me about my abundance activation one-on-one -on -one intensive or VIP day. Now, my preference is to do it in person, to have you come to Las Vegas and we do it in person. <laughs> But actually, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Yes, this was a virtual one, but this was for someone I've already had a pre-existing client relationship with. She's coming back around. She came back into the container. She came back to work with me. Like I said, my clients, they feel complete. And then they come back when they want to work on a new goal. And I'm good with that. I love that about my clients. So yeah, that. However. Let, we could talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Send me the DM. The other thing that I want to invite you to is the masterclass that I told you about that I had such a great time. I'm doing it again. It is going to be on Wednesday, May 29th from 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then the VIP Afterglow is going to be from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's all going to be virtual, live on Zoom. Yes, there will be a replay. And right now we are in the early bird window. So ticket prices are the lowest that they're going to be, all right? Because once this window closes, then it's going to go back to regular price. And the website for that, if you want more details on the masterclass, is abundance.coachjamila.com. And I'll make sure the links are in uh, the comment section or the description for this video, depending on the platform you're watching it on, so that you can click and get registered and so we can have our time together. I'm going to strongly encourage you to go with the VIP option. Why? Because it's your the best way for you to experience what it's like to work with me as one of my private clients. It's a way to get a sampling, a taste before you choose to invest on a greater scale. So I want to thank you for being here with me tonight and watching. Let me check Instagram real quick to see if anybody commented because I can't see unless I'm actually on the platform. Let me see here. Nope. Okay, great. All righty. So for those of you who are watching live, because I see I've got some hearts, thank you. And I'm not going to say when the next time I'm going live is. You just better like, subscribe, comment, whatever you need to do. Get that notification bell if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, whatever little thing you got to click so you stay in the know. Um, but it will definitely be on a weekly basis that I will be do going live. And like I said before, on my YouTube channel, I'll be creating, um, you know, pre-recorded content. But the truth is, is, I love this way of engaging with you because it truly is like I am on my own stage and I'm able to speak and teach and all the things that I love to do to support you, to empower you. And I hope that something I said in this video landed for you, that it resonated. I hope that you got a shift or a change. I hope you heard what it is that you needed to hear tonight. And I hope I gave it to you. Okay. So thank you so much for being here. And I will see you next time.